So all too often I get asked what the difference is between the new Z-Man Elite Evo and the Z-Man or the Evergreen Jackhammer. People ask me all the time, what is the main difference? Well, today I'm gonna show you the difference and to compare it with, I'm also gonna use one of the OG Chatterbait Elites. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these three babies and we're gonna put them underwater with my nice handy dandy GoPro that I have here. It's strapped to a wrench with some Cortland Master Braid right there. And we're gonna put them under the water to the test without any trailers so you guys can see the actual difference. And then what I'll do after I show you the difference is I will break down with hopefully a cool little voiceover what the comparison is as far as what they changed on this baby and this baby. And then at the end, I'll break down my differences of what I've noticed fishing all three of these. So stick around. You guys are not going to want to miss this video. So the first bait that we're throwing in here is the Chatterbait Elite Evo. It's a brand new one, just came out of iCast last year. And my initial reaction, I've been able to play with this bait for about a year now. And it fishes really, really well. It's very similar to a jackhammer, but when you watch it underwater like we have here, you can see just how erratic that Chatterbait really, really is. But one thing that I did notice is it doesn't dive as deep as the rest of the Chatterbaits. And this is me talking after I've already seen the rest of them. So as far as it fishing shallow, it fishes extremely well shallow because you'll notice it is constantly doing something. Whether I was flaring the real handle or not, it was wanting to hunt side to side and bounce all around. And one thing that I also noticed is if you listen to it go through the water, the blade is actually a lot more quiet than a chatterbait or than a jackhammer which was something that I found very, very surprising. So the next bait that we're throwing in the pool here is a jackhammer. And right off the bat, since we talked about how quiet an Evo was, when I throw this in the water next, let's listen to it come through just so you can hear the difference. So it's a little bit louder than the Evo, but it has a very similar action to the Evo. But what you do notice is this bait actually dives about a foot deeper. It was much easier to keep it down near the bottom. This pool is probably about four, four and a quarter feet deep. And so I could actually keep it down near the bottom considerably easier than I could the Evo. The Evo was really hard to keep down, but you'll notice it darts and dances almost identical to that Evo. Um, even when I'm flaring the real handle or not flaring the real handle, it still seems to hunt extremely, extremely well side to side, but you'll notice that it does fish quite a bit deeper. But one thing that I really want to touch on was how much louder it was than the Evo. And when you notice that, that kind of makes it a different tool for me while I'm out there fishing it. You know, if I'm fishing clear water, really, really calm water, I might go to that Evo because I know it's a little bit quieter compared to this jackhammer versus on the flip side, if it's windier, I might go to this jackhammer compared to an Evo because I know this is going to be a little bit louder and it's going to grab those fish's attention just that little bit more. So the next bait that we have in the pool here is going to be that Chatterbait Elite. And I just want you to listen to that bait. That blade is two times louder than the rest of the Chatterbaits we have thrown. That blade vibrates a lot faster and it's a lot louder. And you'll notice it doesn't go side to side nearly as much. This bait was extremely hard to kick off. It was, it, whether I tried to make it dart or dance, it was really, really hard to get it to do that. So this bait's gonna fish extremely well in thicker grass because this bait isn't gonna be hunting and darting side to side. It's gonna come through there fairly easily because it's going in such a straight line. This bait also stayed down near the bottom a lot easier too. Uh, and I don't know if that had to do with the weight being more positioned in the front of it or not, but this bait hunt did not hunt whatsoever. It swam extremely straight, but it was exponentially louder than the rest of the baits. And it might be because it has a different line tie on the front of it, but it, this was all thrown on the same gear. So watching the diving difference was really, really incredible.
All right, so now that we've seen the underwater footage, let's break down these three chatterbaits. Again, I ran them without trailers, just so you could get an unbiased opinion about how they ran. Ran them on the same gear, was running them on 12 pound fluorocarbon, and they're all three eighths chatterbaits. So we'll start with the original, or this is the Elite. So this is one of the first chatterbaits to come out. This has the biggest hook on it. This has an absolute gaff of a hook on it, but you'll notice as it ran underwater, it runs very, very true. It's hard to get it to flare out. It runs very, very straight. That's just the way it runs. But it also ran the, almost the deepest out of the chatterbaits. It was one of, if not the deepest chatterbait to run, because again, they're all three eights. It does have a little bit different skirt material to it, but standard style hook. Um, would work good in grass as far as trying to get it to run straight. So the thicker the grass you're fishing, you might want to lean more toward this chatterbait because it's going to run the straightest. So it's going to have a tendency to get less hung up in the grass, which could be good and could be bad. But again, that was the elite chatterbait. Now we'll talk about the jackhammer. The jackhammer, no surprise there, ran extremely erratic. Actually the deepest running chatterbait that we had, it was the one that tried to hunt the deepest down uh, out of all of the other chatterbaits it was always kind of getting as, as far down as it could again only three eighths um ran very erratic you know flared really really well it would hunt and do all kinds of different stuff no matter what whether i flared the real hand or not it was always trying to hunt back and forth but uh yeah jackhammer lived up to the hype i was you know knew what it was going to do for the most part now the Evo, the Elite Evo, that was one that I was kind of excited to see underwater compared right next to a jackhammer. And so I'll talk about what they changed from a jackhammer to this jack, or to the Elite Evo. What they changed was they actually made the blade a little bit thinner and then coated it with an epoxy coating so the blade won't chip. Because I know that was a problem with the jackhammers was the blades always chipped. They changed the head design to allow it to run deeper, but it actually makes it run shallower. It runs a lot shallower than a jackhammer, and it might be specifically because they added weight to the shank. They changed the hook keeper on it. So if you'll notice, the jackhammer has that nice two-prong hook keeper that holds baits on like no tomorrow, but if you try to take one off, it's going to trash your bait, um, unless you're throwing, you know, Z-Man, Elastec. So they put a different keeper on there, and with that weight being on the back a little bit, it might have changed how it dives because that jackhammer was getting a foot or more deeper than the Evo was. They also upgraded the clips uh, on an Evo. They made it a heavier wire clip that's crimped so that way it doesn't have the tendency to come undone. Um, and then they also lengthened the hook. So they put a one size bigger hook on the Elite Evo than they have on the Jackhammer. It's also a little bit thinner wire, just a smidge, but it's just a size bigger. Um, and so that was the main differences that they had. As far as how this one hunted, again, the, the Evo tried to run shallower but it was also more erratic. It seemed like it was always trying to do something different, but running shallower. So keep that in mind because they don't make it in a three quarter or an ounce and a quarter yet. Um, and so that three eighths was fishing a lot shallower than the jackhammer three eighths. Um, but it was very, very erratic. I was really impressed with how it tried to move in the water. So if you're fishing shallow cover, I would definitely reach for the Evo because it seemed to hunt and fish a lot better shallower versus if you're trying to fish a little bit deeper, that 3 8 ounce jackhammer might be more your speed. I've done a specific breakdown on all the trailers that I really, really like for these specific chatterbaits. So if you want to look in the video description, I'll have that down there as well. But uh, let's get to our Bible quote for the day. I can't forget that Bible quote. As always, I'll have the gear that I like to run these chatterbaits linked down below as well. It's one of my favorite baits to absolutely run. But let's find a good Bible verse for today. So we'll talk about, we just read through Philippians at the last Bassmaster Open I was at. We had a little Bible study and we all chipped in and read through it. So we could all say we read through a chapter in the Bible or a book in the Bible. Uh, so what I want to talk about is Philippians 121. And that says, to live is Christ and to die is gain. And so what does that mean? To me, what that means to live is Christ is Christ is life. You know, the only reason we're all still here and able to have a promise of a, you know a future off of this planet is through Christ you know because he died for us he died for every single one of us and so Christ is life he's also love and so it says to die is gain because if you live through Christ 
when you die, you're going to somewhere that is way better than the earth you left. You're going to a forever heaven, right? You're going to a place where everything is promised and it is eternal life. And so if you believe in Christ, if you, if you believe that God sent his only son down here to die for us and, and to forgive you of your sins, then you will be forever forgiven and you will have eternal life. There is nowhere else that promises that. If you hear of a better story, please let me know because that, that is facts right there. And so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along. But God bless every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.